Hi, I'm Mary Scarpetti and thank you so much for watching another video with me. Today's topic is a little different from things I normally create because I am doing a collaboration with other Catholic women that I'm super excited about. Uh, collaboration was actually one of my goals of 2019. And also, I'm going to be con marring my apartment, different rooms, in the next following weeks in a series of videos. And I wanted to do videos on KonMari for 2019 and also KonMari my apartment. So it actually worked out so well. So many things ticked off my list for 2019, starting the year off right. And I just want to mention that I want you to check out the other videos that the women make because if you're interested in this topic, then you'll be interested in their videos. All the women are Catholic women who are very inspiring and what I love about this group is it's very different women all with different perspectives on how to do things so I think it'll be a really interesting series and I can't wait for you all to see it so let's get started two things that I wanted to mention that are going to be different from the regular KonMari method. So the KonMari method, one of the things that you're supposed to do is greet your home and connect with the home and say a prayer. I am going to do something a little bit different from that. I'm going to greet my home, but I'm going to thank God for my home because I'm so grateful that I have a roof over my head and I'm so grateful for God for blessing me with this home and how I'm grateful that God helped me find it. So I'm going to be thanking God. Another thing with the KonMari method that I'm going to be doing differently is when I get rid of an item of clothing, I am going to thank God for that item of clothing and thank God for the experience that I had in it. So those are two different um, things that I'm going to be doing today that are different from the regular KonMari book, Life Changing Magic of Tidying Up. That's the book that I read. And some of the other women are also going off Sparks Joy. I only read the Life Giving Magic of Tidying Up. So that's what I'm basing my stuff off of. is I'm going to take all the clothes in my apartment and pile them on the bed. this because I feel like clothing is the number one thing that I have the most of obviously and I really like dressing up I have to be honest I did not realize it was this much and I feel a bit I don't know surprised only because I get rid of a lot of clothes which makes me think and I don't shop that much but to be fair I've also been the same size, not like maybe clothing size, but same height, general size frame for years now, since college basically. So I have a lot of clothing that's lasted a long time. So that's what I'm trying to tell myself to make myself feel better about how, many, how much I owe. Now's the step in the process where I start uh, thanking God for my clothes, the items that I'm gonna get rid of, and then also organizing the ones that I'm going to keep. And then we move on to folding and organization. So it's gonna be a long video. <laughs> First 
I'm gonna go through all the clothing that was in my drawers, all the folded clothing, because that's what's at the top of the pile, so it's gonna be easiest for me to go through. And I'm gonna go through it by section. So right now I have in front of me my workout clothes section, and then next to me I also have my sleeping clothes section, like my night gowns and outfits. So, and pajama sets. So, I'm going to go through these two, decide what I'm keeping and letting go, and then I'll get to the folding. But first, I want to lessen the pile before I fold everything. So, the way that you go through your pile is, right now I have my workout clothes. You take each piece in your hand, and you're supposed to... Decide if it sparks joy for you, if it makes you feel joyful, if you're happy wearing it, using it, whatever it is, um, if you use it. So for me, I definitely have worn these workout pants in the last year, but to be honest, they've never fit me quite right. I never feel comfortable. I always feel like I have to pull them up. So, thank you. So now I'm supposed to say a prayer. So I'm going to say a prayer saying thank you so much. Thank you God so much for the opportunity to have these workout pants. I'm so grateful for my physical energy and fitness. And I'm grateful that these could be a part of that journey. But now we are moving on definitely sparks joy for me. I love the color purple. It's one of my favorite colors, if not my favorite color. It's a love. So this is going to move to my joy pile. And I'm going to keep going through it until I get through both of these piles. your item is able to stand, stand in a small rectangle. But the way you achieve that is you get your item of clothing to be a thin rectangle. That's the first step. So with a long sleeve shirt, you're gonna fold in. I like, I found fold, facing it on the, the front face down has been an easier way to do it. And what I'm doing is then folding in each side and then you fold the arm in like that and then you fold this side in you're gonna get it like that and see how it's a long see how it's a long rectangle because i folded it in each side so to get any item of clothing folded correctly you need it to be this long rectangle and then you fold it almost in half, but you want a little bit of space before you fold it fully in half. And then you fold it um, one, two, two times, and then it stands up like so. And it works the same way with other items. So I saved other items to show you. So this is a t-shirt, face down, item halfway in, halfway in, and as you can see, I have a long re uh, rectangle. So then I fold it halfway, but not fully, there's a gap. And then I do one, two, And there you go, standing up. And then that's what they look at, like next to each other in a draw. And this way you can display your clothing and it's easy for you to spot what you're looking for. And it also prevents 
your clothing from losing shape. So this I'm doing with the pajama pants. So you're gonna take your pant like so and fold it in half. And then you're always going to take the part um, that's the pants and bring it up a quarter of the way and then you fold it in half and half again and in half again and then you get it to stand like this and this is them all next <laughs> standing up in perfect rectangles and the whole point of this is that as you can see like all the colors of the items it's easier to find your clothes and pick them out up and it also doesn't ruin the shape of them because they're not getting squished being folded on top of each other they're being displayed nicely and they're going to go in the draw now I'm curious to see what these actually look like in my draw and how they'll fit in the draw so that'll be the next step show you my closet before and after. married my clothing I'm very happy and excited about the result I am really impressed with the way my closet looks that shelf was such a game changer I got it at Target and I got the bins at Target the bins should still be on sale everything was really inexpensive I think the bins were like $3.99 each or maybe $4.99 each and then the shelf itself was like $30, so really affordable. And I love the way it looks. It really goes well with the rest of the stuff in my apartment. And I am really shocked that there was this much stuff that I want to get rid of and don't really love. I'm really surprised by that. And I do feel more energetic and lighter because of it, especially considering this process take me hours because I had to build the shelf. So I'm so grateful that you're watching this. Uh, please stay tuned because this is a series. So there is seven or eight videos in total. I'm going to put all the information in the description box, what to expect. Each Monday during the next couple weeks, I will have another KonMari video focusing on another area of my home. So I'm really, really excited for you guys to see this. I'm really excited to see what my apartment's going to look like in a couple of weeks with all of the changes made. And I'm really grateful that I get to partner with these wonderful women that I'm doing this with. So if you want to see other videos like mine, but a different perspective, 
then check out all the women in this description box. They're definitely worth following. They're really cool and interesting women. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day. Please subscribe to the channel and like this video if you liked it. Bye.